The old Fry's Electronics store near Murphy Canyon Road is sitting empty tonight, a growing eyesore, so we're working for you to see what's going on there. Many of you have been asking us to check out abandoned buildings throughout the county. Tonight, CBS 8's Brian White is on it. Both entrances to the old Fry's are blocked and gated off, as you can see here. Now, many of our viewers are wondering what's going on with the property, so I did some research. There's more to life than just an empty building sitting there. Nearly three years since this Fry's electronics store closed its doors for good, it's still sitting there empty with boarded up windows and doors. They're paying taxes, they got maintenance, they got upkeep, and they're bringing in no revenue. Something's going on. I went next door to the golf driving range and asked around for what people think should go in there. Maybe an indoor golf facility. How about like a Costco or something, a, a real big operation with, uh, it's got plenty of parking. I'd like to see it go back to retail. I called the county recorder's office and they told me the ownership is listed as Maverick Property Owner LLC, which is an out-of-state company formed in Delaware. Bay West Development is the agency handling the property, so I gave them a call. One of the agents told me there are plans underway for a massive redevelopment, but he couldn't share any more than that. Mortgage records indicate a $38 million loan was taken out on the property in August. Whoever does go in there is going to have to uh, bring it back up to the newer standards and to, uh, you know, make it make it profitable. Meanwhile, last week, County Supervisor Joel Anderson sent a letter to his colleagues regarding their discussion on an unsafe camping ordinance. In it, he actually names the old Fry's property as a potential site to serve the homeless. Quote, it should include consideration of vacant properties such as the former Fry's electronic site in the city of San Diego, end quote. I think there's other facilities that would be better located than right there. There doesn't really have a lot of access to uh, facilities around here. So I called Supervisor Anderson's office and staff told me it was just a suggestion at this point. I then confirmed with Bay West Development that the property will definitely not be used for the county's safe camping program or any other type of homeless shelter. From an economic standpoint, you have to get that thing filled some way or somehow. As for what will go in here, Bay West tells me they may be able to share more after the first of the year. We'll keep you posted. Working for you, Brian White, CBS 8. Thanks, Brian. And here at CBS 8, we want to help solve problems that are affecting you. If there's something you'd like us to look into, you can email us at workingforyou at cbs8.com.